So, these are the tools that I will demonstrate. First, the caliper, the steel rule, and the protractor. First, we are going to talk about the caliper or the vernier caliper. This is the caliper. The zero in the vernier scale is right in the zero in the main scale. Then, here the measurement I have is zero millimeter. And if I open the caliper, I can read 5 millimeters, 9 millimeters, 15 millimeters, and 16 millimeters. But what if the zero in the vernier scale is between the 15 and the 16 millimeters in the main scale? Well, then I must read the vernier scale from here to here. The vernier scale represents 1 millimeter and each line represents 0.05 millimeters. So, here the zero line in the vernier scale is after the 15 millimeters in the main scale. So, the measurement is 15 millimeters plus something more. These three lines seems to coincide quite well. But then, I am more interested in the one in the middle. So, the measurement is 40 mm or 15.40 mm. I have 8 lines. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. So, 8 times... 0.05 is equal to 0.40 yeah. so the next tool is I still rule I still rule is the simplest and most common measuring tool so this is how to read the I still rule so, this is 18, 140, 38, and 1 half. This is 58. This is 34. This is 78. And the longest is an inch increment. So this is 1 inch. Now that we have a better understanding of using a steel rule to find the measure of a length, let's gain some practice using a steel rule to measure some different items. So, let's start off by finding the height of this of this object. We could start by turning the figure on its side. And taking our ruler, and lining it up so that the zero inch mark is aligned with the left edge of the figure and seeing how far along it goes to the ruler. The right edge of this figure in this case, this piece of object has a length of exactly 4 inch. So the last tool that I will demonstrate is a protractor. It has two readings. The outer readings in the inner reading that help to measure a given angle. Always starts with the zero. If you want to construct an angle, first off, start with the drawing a straight line. And then, taking the hole or the point here on the protractor, putting it at the end of that line with the protractor lining up. Let's say that you want a let's do a 50 degree angle. You can look across and write it from the 50 make a mic and then you're going to take the protractor and you'll be able to draw a line from that marking to the vertex or the point of the angle. 